Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Safari not working for you, whether it's not loading a website or images, or you simply can't use it, or maybe it's crashing. Whatever the case is, you're going to follow these steps to fix Safari on your iPhone or any Apple device. So, first thing you want to do is when it comes to this, is put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it back off. And does it as a quick network refresh with your if you have Wi-Fi setting or cellular data because when it comes to using Safari, of course, you'll need internet, so that will do a quick network refresh. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and swipe up and then close out Safari if you have open, and then try to reopen it, and hopefully after you do that, it is working for you. Now, after you have done that, still not working, the next thing you want to do is a forced restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a forced restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear. At that time, you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that and follow this method. And if you see Siri activates, that means you didn't press volume up and not quick enough. Now, when you see that slide to power menu come up, you do not need to do that. You just simply hold that button so that it forces the phone to shut down. And once you see the Apple logo, you let go of that button. And what that does is shuts down the phone completely and reloads the code. So if there's a software-related issue impacting your iPhone, it will fix it for you. And this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe on your iPhone. Now, the next thing you want to do if it's still not working or Safari still is having issue, you want to go to your setting of your iPhone. Now, go into all the way down your Safari setting. Now, on this setting here, it's time to clear the Safari data and history, which allows you to pretty much, if you click on this, it will clear out your entire history, which you want to do because if you're having issues, especially with the data of website, you want to do a clear of it. Now, I also recommend if you want to, you can close out all the tabs as well, which will again allow you to have a fresh start. But keep in mind, if you do, clear of your data history, all the tabs and website data that you have entered or something that have been saved on it will be gone. But it's important to do if you're still having issues with Safari not working correctly. So I'll just do that and then clear it out. And once it's great, that means it's been cleared out. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing to check out in your setting of your iPhone is this Safari suggestions. The setting, again, is great, but sometimes it might also have issues well, Safari is not working correctly, you can try to turn that off and seeing if that makes a difference and hopefully it does and it fixes the problem for you. Now the next thing you want to do is this is something when it comes to your iPhone, let's say maybe you're using Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi isn't working for you or if you have cellular data, you want to ensure that the cellular data is actually turned on for Safari. In order to do that in your settings, you're going to go to cellular and then locate Safari all the way down here and make sure under Safari you want to turn off and then turn back on but this should be on by default the safari so that it can use cellular data if it needs to if something happens with your wi-fi or wi-fi data isn't strong enough so you want to keep that setting on now after you have done that it's still not working the next thing to check out in your setting of your iphone is under screen time under screen time you'll notice here something called content and privacy uh, restriction if you click on that you want to ensure that if this is turned on, you want to turn it off. And the reason why it can interfere with a lot of apps not working correctly, so turn off content and privacy restriction and check out if Safari is working for you. Now, if you have done that and it's still not working, it's time to reset the network setting on your iPhone. So in your setting of your iPhone, go to general, go all the way down here, it says transfer reset iPhone. We click on that, click on the first reset option. And the reset that we want to do is reset network settings. So once you reset a network settings, basically it removes any saved Wi-Fi password that you have entered, any Bluetooth connected devices, but it will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still will be safe. You want to do this again if you're still having issues with Safari. This should take about a minute or two to complete. And after that, hopefully it's working for you. Now, if it's still not working, another thing to check out in your setting of your iPhone, going back to Safari again under all the way down here where it says advanced settings click on advanced settings now you want to ensure that a javascript is turned on if it's not a lot of websites will not work correctly and it should be on by default if not for some reason accidentally got turned off or a new update turned it off 
you want to ensure that JavaScript is turned on. Now, after you have done all of that, and let's say it's still not working, it's time to update your phone's iOS. And to do that, you're going to just be in settings, go to general, software update, and check to see if there's update available. If it is, it will show up here. Click on update now. Give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for the update to happen. Make sure your phone is at least at 50% or more charge, connected to a good strong Wi-Fi or cellular data. And after you have updated, hopefully it is working for you. Now in a scenario where Safari simply just does not work for you after doing all of this, there must be something else going on. The other thing for a quick fix or a temporary workaround is downloading other browsers that are available on your iPhone. For example, you have things like Google Chrome, which is another one um, that's popular. You can use Firefox. Again, all depends on these other browsers that you have as alternative to using Firefox that you might consider using, again, just as an alternative. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and fixed your issues with Safari. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Also, if you found another fix for getting Safari to work, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.